What's up, fight fans? Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. What up to the fam? What up to everybody in main man, main man's boxing form over there on Facebook? Hey, look, the thing is this. So I caught news that Jerron Boots Ennis will be facing Custio Clayton sometime this spring. And they're saying that the winner of that fight will be named as the IBF mandatory to go on and face Earl Spence Jr. So this will be in an IBF this will be an IBF eliminator right here, a final eliminator. And it looks as if that they that Custio Clayton and Boots Ennis doesn't that they, they're not even going to have to go to a purse bid which was scheduled for March 1st because they've reached a, a deal already, which is good news to us boxing fans because that means we just waiting on an exact date and we pretty much got this fight fight fans this is great news this is a fight that a lot of us predicted would happen we've seen the movement from uh, in the ibf with custio clayton and we know and we knew it's just a matter of time what they would decide what they were going to do with jerron ennis and it's a good fight you know what i'm saying not a bad fight whatsoever uh both of these fighters got a like uh, the like opponent and sergey lippin yet where jerron boots and stopped him in six and custio clayton for them to a draw but i felt as though he should have got the nod you know he, he pushed sergey lippin yes tough and he just didn't get, get the nod that night custio was a good fighter you know what i'm saying he normally comes in really good shape uh much very experienced fighter he's an older guy um you know and he's been wanting to get on the map for a minute he's always hovered around the top of of, of sanctioning bodies they have always kind of kept him around and the one thing i've always said about custio clayton that it's he, he's a good fighter in, in a good opposition for a lot of up and coming fighters as well. And he doesn't get tied down in politics and what promoter and all of this stuff. So it's easy for all sides to kind of work with him. So he gets his chances where they how they come to him. You know what I'm saying? The crazy thing is he ain't been in the ring in 16 months. That's a long time to not be in the ring and then jumping in there with the caliber of a Jerron Boots Ennis. Shit, bruh. 16 months, that's a lot of ring rust. I hope he's been keeping himself shot. Because if not, Jerron gonna smell that ring rust a mile away and jump smack on him. You hear me? Shorty too sharp. He got the win at his back right now, man. He fighting good. Uh, a good offensive fighter. A lot of fans want to see him. What happens once he gets in there with a, a, higher, a higher caliber fighter and... And, and it's just a matter of time. I mean, he, he walking down the right path. He's pretty much one fight away from a world title shot. And it just looks as if it's going to be Earl Spence Jr. If Earl don't make a move towards Terrence Crawford. Hey, look, man. I'm going to tell you I like this, man. Look, I've said this before. I'm going to say it again. Hey, Earl Spence Jr., bro. This next run of fights is going to be key in the legacy of Earl Spence. See, everything, even with Sean and Danny and all the in-between and Lil Mike and all that, that stuff was like the buildup of Earl. Now, Earl has got to show everyone, all right, I'm the champ, I'm the top dog, and now it's time to reign. And it's time to take on the cream. The, 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 if he can get through these next sets of fights, it's going to mean a hell of a lot. And even in the case we starting with your Danis Ugas, it starts with Ugas. And then possibly turns Crawford. Maybe two times. Because if not, then he's going to have to answer the question of Jerron Ennis. That IBF situation ain't gone nowhere, fight fans. It's still been a minute since he had that IBF Mando. Since Ocampo. How long ago was that? So IBF is going to be on Earl Spence's ass if he chooses not to unify with Terrence Crawford. Or bring on something bigger. Who knows? I don't know. I mean, I don't even know if they'll take a Keith Thurman fight. Like, I, even if, if Earl said, I'm going to go face Keith, Keith ain't got no belt. And Keith ain't named as no mandatories or anything. He just is still in the rankings. So at the end of the day, I think this IBF situation would take precedent. And for, for those say Terrence Crawford this, Terrence Crawford that, I mean, look. And I'm not saying that Earl has no sort of whatsoever fear of Jerron Ennis. But I mean, does he want to do this at this point in his career with this young, hungry fighter? It's going to be a tough fight. Either way it go, win, lose, or draw. But we'll see, man. We will see. This is an interesting thing with Jerron Ennis. 
and Custio Clayton, man. Uh, like I said, man, I, I root for Custio Clayton because he, he's been hungry for a while. Like I said, man, the circumstances of being out of the ring for 16 months, that's that's tough to overcome against a hungry fighter. And, and Ennis has been active. Ennis has been active. And it does speak a lot that both that he stopped Sergey in six and, and, and Sergey took them sit and took him 12 to a draw. That just shows you the power and pedigree of Ennis and, and the hunger. Get a shot. He can fight you at many different ranges. Good hand speed. Good power. Hungry. Eager to prove. But a lot of people want to see what happens when he gets pushed back. Could Custio Clayton be the one to show that? Because Custio is strong. Especially upper body strong. And he's athletic. He's a good fighter. Could he be the one that gives Jerron Ennis some problems? And show some and show fans... What happens when how Jerron Ennis reacts in certain situations? Could he be the one? I don't know. I don't know. But either way, I'm happy as a boxing fan, fight fans, that we got some direction in the welterweight division, and the things are gonna heat up real soon, man. So it looks like that Earl Spence Jr. has his next opponent announced in Ugas, and Jerron Ennis has his next opponent announced in Custio Clayton. Virgil Ortiz has his in Michael McKinson. We're waiting on Terrence Crawford if he comes back to the ring, given his situation with Bob Barron. I hope he do, you know, to stay sharp and all that. Maybe get a soft touch. It ain't got to be nobody big time. Everybody else right now kind of fighting who they want to fight. I mean, we'll see. We'll see, fight fans. Thumbs up on the way. I'll be getting hit on the way in. Share, share, share. Rock them bills, man. I'll be watching this fight. I'll be definitely keeping a keen eye on this fight. Sometime this spring, we'll wait on an official date and venue, fight fans. Uh, as right now, this hasn't been announced, but we know more than likely this will be on Showtime. Uh, that's where Jerron Boost Ennis normally fights at. And uh, yeah, man. And that's also the thing about Jerron Ennis that makes it easier for Earl Spence fight. They already kind of doing business on the same networks. So that's a cool thing, too. We'll see, man. Interesting take, man. Thumbs up, man. See y'all real soon to the next video. Peace out.